Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. And Queensland nurse has been charged with fraud and stealing after she allegedly used the bank card of a hospital patient to treat herself to a spending spree. Melalani Crelly, 42, allegedly racked up a $7,000 bill on the card as she shopped around the Gold Coast while the elderly woman lay in Rabina Hospital and later Gold Coast University Hospital battling a serious illness. The woman's son from McKay, Darren Kirby, noticed dozens of transactions at supermarkets, cafes, and bakeries had been billed in April and May this year while his mother was stuck in bed and did some sleuthing. Mr. Kirby found one transaction for a Varsity Lakes hair salon and brought in police, reported the Gold Coast Bulletin. Detectives found the person who went in for the hair appointment used a second card to pay for part of the bill after the cost exceeded the tap-and-go limit. Officers on Thursday swooped on Crelly's Varsity Lakes home where they allegedly found the elderly woman's purse and bank card. Mr. Kirby said when he first looked at his mother's bank card bill, he was in disbelief. Then I decided to try and get to the bottom of it. I was like a dog with a bone and I didn't want to let it go because I just can't stand thieves, he said. Crelly has been charged with one count of stealing and one count of fraud. Mr. Kirby's mother has since recovered from her bout with encephalitis, a condition involving swelling of the brain that can be life-threatening, and has been released from hospital. Crelly was given police station bail to front court on August 9th. She moved to the Gold Coast from Sydney a decade ago when she graduated as a nurse. It is unclear if she has been stood down pending the court appearance. The police investigation remains ongoing. Daily Mail Australia has contacted Queensland Health for comment.